Louisiana Beer Reviews, here we are at 8.30 a.m. It's humid, it's so hot, everybody's commenting on that right now, the heat in the south. <sighs> um, we're looking at Biloxi Beach Blonde, Kolsch style craft beer from Biloxi Brewing Company. This is one of those that came into Mathern's. It was bottled on uh, January 20th, 2016, so it's got some age on it. Um, I kept putting them off. Um, I don't know why I shouldn't have done it, uh, but um, I don't think they're doing too well. It's brewed at Lazy Magnolia in Kiln, Mississippi. I tried their um, Foreign Extra Stout. It was... Um, it was pretty good. It wasn't up to the level of a Guinness Foreign Extra Stout but yet the price was about the same. Some smoke here. This was $1.99, so that was another reason. $1.99 for each bottle. You say, well, that's not too bad. Yeah, but that's, that's close to $12 a six pack, so that's not that great. Look at this fountain of bubbles in the etched tasting glass. That's a gold, hazy appearance. It's more golden than most cultures I've tried, I think, like the Reisdorf and the Sunner Kolsch from Germany. They seem more yellow than gold, even more lemon yellow with the sun shining right through them. Anyway, let's give it a chance. This was introduced in 2015 when the brewery was launched. Lazy Magnolia does a whole lot of contract brewing for Mississippi and Louisiana brewers, plus they do their own line of beers, like that pecan ale. Okay, as far as rapier and beer advocate, forget it because there's only four written reviews total all right and there's two video reviews one was very positive i'm not familiar with that guy he had trouble getting the cap off <laughs> um the other guy josh pine belt beer reviews he is in mississippi he was very pleased i got a minute left on that video to watch but he was very pleased with it so it's uh and the name reminded me of the uh, old michelob beach bum which i thought was a great summer blonde ale apparently no one else did it's pungent. It's like pungent, uh, maybe some sourdough bread. <sighs> old malt. It doesn't really smell like an old beer, though. It's not like it smells stale or like it's been on the shelf too long. But obviously, I should have bought it in January when it hit the store. So I apologize for that. And if you see it, you should try it, but chances are you won't. But who knows, their distribution might expand. Well, the first thing I noticed, it's got an odd smokiness. Peat. Peaty smokiness, which I don't think goes with the style, maybe. Don't think. Some lemony notes candy like um is it bitter honey or sugar daddy hmm the abv is not listed on the website and I don't recall seeing it on the bottom i'm glad it has a date guys and it's a best it's a born on date not a best by date recommended at 50 degrees well in this heat it's going to be at 50 degrees very quickly Light and body, they're saying. Now, I would say it's more medium in body. Subdued maltiness. Um, it seems they have more of a bursting maltiness, and it's almost like it's, this is using rice. Rice. Hoppiness, subdued hoppiness. Yeah, I would think the uh, delightful effervescence. Yes, bubbly. Um, the IBUs must be around um, 15 or at the most. The ABV rapier said 4.1, but they didn't say where they got that number. Could be possible. Well, it's sort of odd. I can't say it's worse than the Sunner or the Rise Dwarf Kolsch. It's better than Portrait. 
what isn't porch rocker or coast style. Thought that was dull to the max. And was that lining kugels? Coast style. Coast style ale, the um, canoe paddler. That was dull, 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 doloroso, <laughs> you know, dolloristic. Dull. This is not dull. It's peculiar with the peaty smokiness and the other things I described. The finish is on the dry side. Um, I would say on the sweetness scale, Cyclops was probably three and a half out of five. Sugar Cubes was a little sweet. Bitterness, uh, one out of five hop cones. Ah, uh, I'll say B plus. Very good. I don't know about excellent, but my score might increase as I drink on it. But at the worst, B plus, very good. So a very good, interesting beer. I have a few more Blexi beers to try. So les les bon temps roulés. Can y'all come on down to New Orleans?